morning and how are you today? It is day one of the lockdown in South Africa. And how are we doing? Well, first of all, let's put some tea in the pot while I, that could be brewing while I chat to you. There we go. Can do anything with a cup of tea. Anyway, how are we doing today? Okay, let's start by winding back a little bit to last night. Because last night I thought, well, uh, full of video, I will try and get that little clock, that countdown clock that they had on the news channel ticking down to the zero at lockdown, you know, to put it on the video. So I set up the camera, set up in front of the uh, TV, and this happened. Poof, 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 poof. Yep, storm came, knocked the power out, no electricity. So I went to bed. <laughs> um, so I haven't got a, clock, a picture of the countdown going to zero. Sorry about that. Um, got up this morning, power is back on. My Wi-Fi is not working yet, my internet, so hopefully that's going to come back. But I do have electricity, which is great news. But then I turned on the news and I had some bad news. South Africa today has suffered its first two deaths due to the coronavirus, which is very sad and is the start of a trend that we've seen in many countries. I just hope that nobody you love or care for gets affected with this. Um, also on the news was the news people out and about showing what response the South Africans in the different places have to the lockdown. And if they're respecting social distancing and not going out for essentials. And this is what it looks like. So credit to E! News, uh, South Africa for that footage. But it's like, uh, it's, it's like in lots of places, people are just carrying on as normal out there. Now where I live is actually a little sleepy village. So I can walk out my gate at pretty much any day of the year and not see anybody. So without going out, which I'm not going to do, they, I can't really tell if it's actually having an effect locally, but around the country it seems like people are pretty much ignoring the lockdown, which anyway, if you're in a country that's got lockdown or if you're anywhere where the virus is in your country, stay home and stay safe. Don't go out unless you have to, unless you need food, medical attention, or if you're somebody who can look after an older person, a neighbor or a friend that shouldn't go out and you can do something for them. Otherwise, stay at home. It's a little bit of suffering. It's not really suffering to stay at home for a little while for a lot of gain in the future. And for all those youngsters who say, but it only affects old people, the first two cases in Cape Town, in, uh, yes, in Cape Town in South Africa, were a 21 year old and a 28 year old and a 41 year old, young people. So. Don't take the risk and try and preserve lives of others. Anyway, for us today, we're in the kitchen because I've decided for breakfast, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect pancakes. So let's cue the music and... First, you carefully measure out a few heaped spoonfuls of plain flour. That should do it. Next, also carefully measured out a dose of milk and I don't have an electric whisker, I've got a hand whisker. You don't put too much milk in, just enough so you can mix it nicely. And then the key is to mix it nice and frothily. And right there, make a mess all over the counter. And the other thing is that any good food, if you prepare it properly, must make a mess. I, th I think that's like an official uh, thing with making food. So, eggs. I crack them separately in case there's a bad egg in it. Because I don't want to ruin my batter. One. There we go. Two eggs, nice and healthy, and then mix them in. There we go. Now, when that's had a good mix, get 
That's beautiful consistency. Beautiful. There we go. Perfect. Now at this point, this is one of the most important parts of making pancake batter that most people miss out. Most people now will heat the pan and start making pancakes, but batter needs to rest. So now I'm just going to sit it on the side with a bit of a covering on the top so nothing drops in it for 20 minutes before I start cooking. Whoa, you pour it over the floor. No, you don't pour it over the floor. And make sure you swirl. Whoops, put a bit more back too much batter in this one. But hey, the first ones are never as good as the middle ones, which are never as good as the end ones. Keep swirling it, keep swirling it, keep swirling around the pan and till it stops moving. Then you wait and heat it. Spatula in hand. Now pancakes don't take long to cook. Basically you're going to cook it till it stops sticking, then turn it over and then heat it through till it's ready to eat. Okay. I have to admit that today, probably because I'm filming it, the pancake was a little bit thin. See, it's still sticking to the bottom. So, just leave it there. Patiently, patiently. Ah, yes, that was loose, so you can go. Whoop. There we go, perfect. Heat it that side. Plate is ready. Now, obviously, what you have with your pancake is your personal choice, but I like to keep it simple, sugar and lemon. Mm -mm -mm. I should just, uh, it's got, and... There we are. This pancake is for you. So, better make this a good one, eh? Pour of oil. I like, like a pancake thin or thick. I like them sort of not thin, thin, but not thick, thick. I like them as well. Sort of maybe, I don't know, two millimeters. I've no idea how you measure and what depth of a pancake, but this is how I like them. And this is how yours is going to be. So there we go. Nice and hot in the pan. Remember to let me know what you would eat with your pancakes and what your favourite pancake recipe is, i.e. what you put on your pancakes. I know some people like honey, some people like syrup, some people like fruit, some people like putting raisins and things in the pancake when they cook. I just like things simple. Plain pancake, honey, no. Plain pancake, lemon and sugar. That's me every time. But you let me know what you want. Is your pancakes coming up soon? Good news, your pancake didn't stick. Let's flip it. Oh, perfect flip. There we go. Cook it. And it'll be here for you. Try not to burn your food. Fresh cooked. Let's toss it in. Oh, perfect. Look at that. There we go. Enjoy your pancake.